And we're live. What's happening, you fabulous struggle minds? It's your boy, G-Man, G-Man, back, cosplay, I'm back with another episode of the Beastmaster Mandalorian cosplay. Now, you probably thought, G-Man, why are there no weapons this cosplay? You probably made a rifle, you probably made all that already, but this guy only needs one weapon, and I'll show you that right now. Now, this hammer is not done yet, so before I go into depth about how I'm going to finish it, we're actually going to do it in this video. This hammer is made with a dowel rod, electrical tape, foam, spray paint, and hot glue. And this hammer is one of my favorite things I've ever built. See, I had this dowel rod lying around, so I thought, hmm, what would a Mandalorian have that would be used in battle if he was in the jungle? So I thought of a hammer. I also thought of the armorer, played by the wonderful Emily Swallow in The Mandalorian, the Book of Boba Fett, and every season of The Mandalorian. So, what I'm going to do to finish this is some hockey tape. So guys, I'll talk to you guys while I'm doing this. Now, why I chose a hammer for a weapon, because I made a lot of guns, I made a lot of, like, uh, um, very, uh, various, uh, like, arsenal weapons like uh weapons you'd see with guns and bullets and stuff so i thought why not make a hammer like the armor the armor doesn't have a um a gun or something like that she has a hammer so i thought why not make a hammer for the beastmaster and i'm also using my uh chin armor that i made i also have a knife in there because this armor is supposed to be very primitive almost like the crusaders armor in the from the old, like, Mandalorian times. Which is where the story of the Beastmaster comes in. The Beastmaster is a modified Super Commando armor from traditional Crusader armor. Like, this hammer had been through battle. It's been through absolute hell on Mandalore. So, then Mandalore the Salvager salvaged the armor. And he started working on it again. Because this armor belonged to his grandfather, who was once Mandalore like himself. See, my Mandalore doesn't actually have a title. He doesn't have a title or the Darksaber, so technically he's a Mandalore of fiction. So, yeah, that's how my guy uh, operates in the Star Wars canon or legends. What I can tell you is that my Mandalore is actually a jedi but he doesn't use lightsabers he uses like hardcore like materials and he's an armor as well just like the armor from uh, the mandalorian and he makes armor for people and whenever they don't want armor and they don't have something that they don't want or need anymore they just give it to him that's looking pretty good i guess it's looking pretty good for the handle that's uh you see a difference between the shiny uh uh electro tape and the matte fabric of the um, other tape. So let's cut this off. I just actually bit it off because it's easier to bite than uh, just take it off. There we go, just wrap the little bust a little bit. And there you have a nice firm handle to wield your hammer. Like that. There's the uh, electrical tape right here and there's the um, hockey tape. So now I can just swing it around. Want to do a little trick for you guys there. So I'm actually going to put on the uh, the Beastmaster helmet. Show you guys how it looks with the uh, the hammer. Plus, any of you guys like when I wear this helmet? I'm just mumbling the uh, the song, the Rage of the Shadow Warriors uh, song, but I'm glad you guys like this hammer. I'm using this for a lot of cosplays, but mostly it's the Beastmaster hammer. It doesn't have a name yet, but I actually give it a name. It's called the Mustafar Shatterer. Mus the Shatter of Shatter of Mustafar. That's what this hammer is called, the Shatter of Mustafar. I just gave it that name. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this little episode of uh, the Beastmaster armor. 
Next, I'll be working on the uh, the uh, chest armor and the back armor in a future episode. And then that should do it for the Beastmaster. And then I'll do a whole, like, uh, uh, hopefully I'll do a video of, like, me putting the armor on like I always do. And I'm hopefully going to bring this to Fan Expo. If you guys want, want me to bring this to Fan Expo, leave a like down in the comments. If you want me to like in the, like, give this video a like. If you want me to do the Beastmaster, and if you don't want me to do the Beastmaster, you can dislike it if you don't want it. But I know you guys will like the Beastmaster uh, armor. I'm just saying, I'm just really excited this is almost done. And then this will be my last Mandalorian for a while until I get some more space around the house. Because I live in a cave, so it's like not that much room down here. So guys, the Gene Effect cosplay, and I love you guys a lot. This is the way to cosplay and for Mandalore.